channel it's a bright beautiful saturday morning um, at home but i'm preparing to go to work and i thought okay why don't you film your first vlog ever so i don't know how this is going to work because i'm using my phone i know a lot of people make vlogs with their phone but i don't know so how do i look so come with me i'll be going to work i have um, online classes next week and i'm yet to film most of the videos i need so that's the reason i decided to leave them on the saturday normally i hate leaving the house on saturday i prefer to just stay around and watch tv and play with my kids but thankfully i have this super lovely house help who does most of the house jobs weekends so i can take out this time and my sister is also here and she'll be watching my two kids See, one of them is here, here, somewhere here. So she makes life about 152.3% better for me. <laughs> so come on a ride with me. Say hi to the camera. Hi. Grandma. Mm. Okay, guys, let's go to work. So my son just said I should buy phone for him. <laughs> Can you guys see my life? She wants me to just throw out and buy a phone for him. He's four years old. And then uh, he probably thinks it's just easy to just buy a phone. As you're strolling out, you know, as I'm just going out, just stop somewhere and buy a phone for me. <laughs> I become that blessed to be able to just stroll out and buy food for somebody for a four year old if I like then we'll now have to debate whether Brian bye we'll have to debate whether I actually want to do that or not Um, it's just about about 10 a.m. you know it's 11 and um, everywhere is this hot I have my face mask here okay fine very proud of myself already because it's a talk of what we've been home all weekend. <laughs> I try to do everything I need to do outside before the weekend because I know Saturdays I don't like leaving home and only church takes me out on a Sunday. So my talk, my office is uh, in a complex so we have a series of shops and lots going on.
my time to clean up. And um, we'll see what's next. I'm planning to film a jumpsuit class, which I need next week. Okay, let me just clean up and we'll get to other things. One of the major problems I have um, as a fashion designer, one of the biggest challenge, in fact, to all entrepreneurs in general, is power supply. Here in Nigeria, it's very, very poor. For instance, aside from the production aspect of my job, if I want to create content, so right now we don't even have power supply, and if I if I put on my generator, probably to get a better lighting, because I use natural light and the regular bulb. If I put on my generator, this place is just going to become noisier. Already there's a generator blasting downstairs and um, all of that. So power supply in Nigeria is a business killer. And for content creation, for example, there's almost nothing I can do about it. Because if I try to solve it using a generator, then I get noise and all that. It's not fun, I tell you. We need to do something about that. Fast. I started making this outfit like a... Maybe a year ago. Okay, no, it should not be up to you, but at least six months ago. So I got stuck. I was trying to create something, but it didn't quite work out. So I just got stuck in between here. Something's supposed to go here. And I'm not thinking of making ruffles. Just to, you know, filling up this side with ruffles and the other side as well. So I don't know how it's going to turn up just yet. And um, but I'm not absolutely abandoning it. Just that it's going to be here for a while before I conclude on what is happening to do with it. fabric I was working on today. It's crepe. I'll be making a jumpsuit, a lovely jumpsuit for my intermediate class students. So if you want to learn how to make pants, jumpsuits, jackets, you should enroll for an intermediate class. I'm really hoping it will come out nice. I have a de design in mind, even though I'm not very sure how it's going to turn up. Just yesterday night I made the decision to create something unique but well, I'm going to say it when I'm done most likely not going to be today I just hope I'm able to cut I'm able to drag the pattern and cut and probably start sewing it and recording as I do all of this I'm already dreaming about the jumpsuit I just hope it comes out as nice as I'm dreaming. <laughs> so I'm going to put part of the recording in this video. Please, you can see me recording the tutorial. So I feel like show you guys my broken mannequin. Her name is Olive. I'm so emotional about her. Even though she's broken, I just left her standing on the wall. You know, I'm not ready to bury her or... It's just painful. So only passed away after a series of head and shoulder injury. So for now, I just left Olive there. Olive is, um, by the way, Olive was our former name. Yes, when I started sewing, I had this brand in mind, Olive Couture. Okay, but at the time I started getting serious with business, I didn't want to retain the name, and that's because. There was already, there were already lots of olive days, olive, olive house of olive, olive fashion, olive everything. So I wanted something a little bit more unique. And one of my friends suggested Chemafric and it just clicked. And um, 
So I registered the name and that was how the name came about. So when I got this mannequin, it was at um, the point where I started taking my business serious. So I felt, oh, Olive, Olive has uh, seen us through the years and it has given us wings to fly. So Olive actually gave me wings to fly. So I decided to name this mannequin Olive. So I have emotional attachment to this mannequin. If you check my post on Instagram, you'll see lots of designs I wore on Olive. And uh, so Olive is gone now. Really, so I just left it standing here. I know it does not do much to the beauty of this place. I will probably let it go a little while soon. But the lower part is still fine. Maybe I can use it to the space. Maybe a pant or something. But this upper part, mm, nothing to write home about. We don't usually open on Fridays, and um, coupled with the coronavirus pandemic right now. We are not even fully open on weekdays. I only come here to do my recordings and a little work here and there. But if this continues, I may have to start making ready to wear. Yes, there are no occasions these days. And so I'm really bespoke. It's not my place of interest. But I've, I've tried getting fabrics for ready to wear, but I couldn't. I couldn't get the types I needed and from the person I actually wanted to get. The store is logged up, so I may just have to look for another means to get um, fabric to start making ready to wear. I, I love making ready to wear much more than I enjoy bespoke tailoring. Sincerely, I'm planning to gradually, you know, taper down my bespoke tailoring aspect so I can focus on ready to wear and teaching. Those are the two core areas I'm interested in. And because I just know I have some clients already for bespoke and really bespoke jobs just keep coming in. And I don't want to turn bespoke jobs away just yet. So I'm going to be employing more hands that will probably help me undo that aspect of the business for now. Did I say for now? Maybe forever. <laughs> bespoke tailoring can be really stressful for me and um, it doesn't give me so much room for creativity because most people come around and they already know what they want to make. And sincerely, many come to me with other people's design, other people's design. They want me to create, recreate a design for them and it's tiring really. I don't want to keep doing that. I decided a while ago that no, I'm not going to be doing that. And that's part of the way I may just reduce bespoke tailoring jobs. Hi everyone, you're welcome to um, jumpsuit class okay so before we start making our jumpsuits you need to know how to make a basic bodies block i have a video on that on my youtube channel so i believe you're in the intermediate class and you ought to know certain things already how to draft a sleeve it's on my youtube channel as well how to take body measurement and how to take body measurement for pants Okay, so these are the things we'll be combining together to create a jumpsuit. So if you're in the intermediate class and you don't know how to do all that yet, well, I don't know if... Okay, just go ahead to my YouTube channel and watch those videos. But then I need to state something here about taking body measurement for jumpsuits. Okay, so once you take your half length so remember the back half length and the front half length are still different but once you take your half length for the front don't make it too high okay don't make your half length high for a jumpsuit i don't think you're going to like the outcome so make it a little bit lower than you maybe like one inch longer than you normally would have taken for your half length okay for instance i use 17 inches normally but for jumpsuit i think i'll use 18 or 18.5 for myself that's because i don't want a high you know it's just going to look weird if your jumpsuit is as high as the the half length of your peplum top for example so if your pants is starting from that point the the crotch is going to be extra long and you're not going to like it really so take your half length then tie something around that point okay so tie something around your waist in fact tie it first before you start taking the measurement tie it first uh, let me just use this tip for mine so especially it's, it's actually good you get somebody to take your measurement 
and it's even more important for jumpsuits and pants. There are lots of errors you can make trying to take your measurement by yourself. So once you get here, just hold it down mm, and continue with your trouser length. Or you, you just, since you already tied this with anyway, you can just put your tape again and take your trouser. So because the jumpsuit, the pants part of a jumpsuit is continuous with the waist. So you don't want to take your half length up to this point, then start taking the pants from here. By the time you wear your jumpsuit, it's just going to be pulling on you and you won't like it. So that's one thing I need to point out here before we move on to start making our pattern about the measurement of jumpsuits. And also here, you know, when you're taking your crouch and all that, make sure you take it from this point so your jumpsuit doesn't become too shorter than you will have loved it to be okay so that's very very important for a jumpsuit and also for a jumpsuit the crouch should be a bit long so normally i use 10.5 for my crouch uh, crouch length is it crouch depth okay for my crouch depth but then for a jumpsuit i'm going to add extra one inch and that's because you're going to need to sit down so it, for a jumpsuit, the pants and the upper part, they are connected. So if you have it too tight, you won't be able to sit down. It's just going to be weird and you just stand out through the day. <laughs> okay, so add like extra one inch to your crouch length, your regular crouch length. Just give it a bit, a little bit more freedom. Okay, I particularly like free jumpsuits. That's the upper part can be fitted, but then the pants aspect should be free. That's just my preference. I see a lot of jumpsuits that are fitted even on the lower part, but just take note of your crouch length. Why am I missing it? Okay, your crouch length. You can call it a crouch depth, anyone. Okay, so just make sure your crouch length is longer than what you will have used regularly for your pants, and uh, you'll be fine with that. So the first thing I'll be doing here is to transfer the pants we created in the pants making class. So I'm going to transfer it to another paper and I'll just show you what it looks like once I'm done. So you're welcome to this class once again. I'm sure you're going to love watching this and I can't wait to see yours. I have a design in mind. So you can just create another design for the upper part of your body. You don't have to do exactly my design, but we're going to do it together anyway. I have something in mind. I'm not really sure how this will work out. That's something with creativity. You may have something in your mind, and um, by the time you put it down, it doesn't turn out that right. Okay, so I want to teach you, and in teaching you, I'm going to be creative and just you're going to work with my regular flow. So while you are making yours, you may just give yours a twist as well. This is intermediate class, so I'm treating I'm treating you guys like professionals already. So I expect a level of creativity from you. So let's go on and uh, work on our jumpsuits. Okay, I'm done working now, not because I'm actually done, but I had plans to do more than if I eventually did. But I think I'll stop at this point. It's raining outside and the light will be going off at any minute from now. And I don't want to use the generator because I don't want to use the voiceover and my video will be super noisy. That's for the class I'm filming. Okay, let me show you some more friends of mine here. So this is Engraced. And Engraced is putting on a very lovely, lovely Ashebi lace style that I designed. So it's quite beautiful. So this is Engraced. Engraced is actually supposed to replace Olive. I named it after my students. She's actually 10 years, she was 10 years old when she joined us. I think she's 11 now, she comes during the holiday. It's actually her mom, her dad. Okay, I see how they try to make her learn skills and I think many more parents should do that for their children. Okay, you should not just rely on the even schools should inculcate creativity into their curriculum so that children can learn beyond the regular classroom work and practical application. So Grace is my youngest student so far. She's creative. She plays the piano. Her parents, she sings. I think she sings. I'm not very sure about that. Her parents want her to learn how to design as well. You know, she's just trying her hands um, at a lot of things and who knows where those things can come in handy at the end of the day. So this is engraved, named after Gracious. Her name is Gracious, but I didn't want to name 
my mannequin gracious just directly her name but i got the inspiration from her so in here i have some ready to wear pieces i made for sale that i'm yet to sell for some reasons this is the last one i made i have these peplum tops not peplum tops rather wrap tops they're wrap tops with exaggerated organza sleeve i have shirt dresses then i think this is the last of this i might even get this for myself because i like it okay it has a beautiful ankara design these are jackets and the last kaftan i sold a lot of kaftans recently not this particular design but this is a kaftan i'm here to say so i have some kiddies wears here so i made this a while ago but didn't get to sell them I don't know i think i probably haven't advertised enough so i have ball gowns for children so i was actually hoping i'll advertise during easter but coronavirus happened so this one is actually used the per the owner wants me to sell it for a child so i made this for a little bride so if you're a little bride and uh, you just want something that's been used i will give it away at a very low cost so and this other one then this this one too i was hoping i'll sell them of this easter but wait easter almost didn't hold and uh, i have this lovely kaftan that was made during our beginners class i embellished with lace trimming Somebody was asking me how much I got this, so I didn't actually get this. I actually placed each piece, especially here, each piece, and there was a long stretch of that. I cut them out from lace, so that was what I used for this. It's very lovely. This is for me because my husband bought it for me. I made him buy it for me, so it's now mine. So, um... I think I'll just hang around a little bit. My phone is running down. I'm using my phone to vlog and it's running down. So I need to charge it before this light goes off. And I should be on my way home and enjoy the rest of the weekend. I'm actually proud of myself today. I find it hard to work on Saturdays. I just want to relax and chill since I spend most part of the week working. But I'm proud of myself. I, I, I'm glad I'm able to do this. I filmed a part of the jumpsuit that I didn't get to finish cutting but uh, well I'm tired already and let's just say I'm feeling good already so I don't want to I don't want to overwork myself so I'll just pick up a tin or two and we'll be on our way I'm through with work now and um, I'm ready to go. Ready to go back home. I'm just going to make a couple of. I'm going to stop by the supermarket to get groceries and another supermarket. Not really a supermarket. A supermarket and a store actually. To get some things as I head home. So now, off we go.
wow mm. so I, I didn't i didn't go home as early as uh, i actually wanted to i got busy fondly with my phone So what do you guys think about um, phone use? Okay, you, I know you can be addicted to it. I don't even know if I'm addicted to it, but I know I do a whole lot on my phone. I do business, online classes. I have online classes I take on my phone. So I actually just ignore the people that that are kind of um, telling me I use phone a lot. I feel I'm not wasting my time. It's part of my work part of my work so I take courses I give courses I use my phone a lot okay but I find it can be a little bit distracting sometimes so I'm just trying to balance everything out in between using it for business and um, just so I don't get addicted to using a phone it's kind of hard I must tell you there are so many things I need to do the reason I'm um, even talking about this is because sometimes I just plan to do something else and I just pick my phone. I go from here to there, monitor adverts, reply to message. Before I know it, I've spent like some hours. So I really think I need to check that and um, just have some time off my phone, off everything. And hopefully, as time goes on, I hope I'll be able to get uh, probably a social media manager a personal manager of course i'm praying the business groups that i send out i'll be able to employ people to handle some aspects of these things i do by myself so if you're here and you probably use your phone for business how do you manage how do you know when to stop i would like to see your comments in the comment section i'd like to read your comments in the comment section how do you know when to stop when it's becoming too much okay you're not playing on your phone it's not like you're just playing on your phone okay you're actually working on the phone how do you know when it's time to stop and just focus on the physical if you understand what i mean so i'm almost at the supermarket now i don't know if i'll be allowed to use my phone there but i may not even try Here, yep, I do. So, I have a tutorial on how you can make your own Ankara nose mask. This is one I made in that video. I actually have two videos on nose mask. So, let's go. I have just 3% of battery left and this is probably the end of this vlog and um, I'm just heading home now You may want to join me, I have a con here So this is me saying goodbye and see you in my next video or vlog. Wonder people are just looking at me. How do you guys do it? <laughs> so bye for now. Please watch my other videos. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so. so thank you very much and bye.